Hi, my name is Vince Farrell and I'm a Senior Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. In this video, I want to show off something that can save you a lot of time when you are inserting parts or assemblies into top-level assemblies. I'm covering smart features. In order to talk about smart features, I need to talk about smart components. A smart feature is an aspect of a smart component that the user can choose to incorporate. It does take some setup, but once that's done, you'll have everything that you need to reuse the part or assembly over and over again. First, let's take a look at the component that I want to make smart, which is this handle. I want to use it on a toy chest I'm designing. When I bring it into that assembly, I want to create mounting holes and add in the fasteners for mounting. I'm going to use toolbox fasteners and you can do it without them, but then you won't get the added benefits of toolbox components, such as auto sizing the lengths. The handle uses two M4 holes for mounting. We need to have a setup assembly in order to define the smart component and features, which I have here. I already have the handle positioned relative to the setup top, and I have two holes that I created in context of this assembly because that external reference will allow the new holes to match up to the handle holes. I'm going to insert smart fasteners and let SOLIDWORKS auto size them. Here's a section cut so you can see how they look. Now it's time to create the smart component. This is under Tools, Make Smart Component. First, I'll select the handle as a smart component, but as I mentioned earlier, this can also be an assembly. Next, I'll select any components that I want to bring along with the handle. That would be the two screws. Last, I'll select the feature I want to insert in the new assembly, which is this hole wizard feature. That's it. You can also add in mate references to make it easier to mate the smart component in the new assembly, but I'll keep it simple. A folder is created in the tree showing that this is a smart component. There are three subfolders showing the features and components that can be inserted and the reference for inserting features. I'll save everything and switch over to the toy chest. I'll insert the handle and mate it the way I want. Now it's as easy as selecting it and hitting this star. If you're like me and find it a little difficult to click that, you can use my preferred method of right clicking the part and selecting insert smart features. Now the property manager allows us to select what's going to be included and we can toggle things on and off by unchecking them. Note that you will either need to insert the components or the features. If you only have one of these, you won't be able to uncheck it. You have to insert something, but that's the whole point of having a smart component. You also see a preview of the assembly we use to create the smart component. This is a reference for us so that we can choose the new face that the holes will start at. Make the selections, hit the green check, and watch the magic. The holes are created and put in at the part level of the chest top, and the fasteners are added with the correct length. Here's another section to see that. I can even move around the handle and everything moves with it. What happens if you need to edit the smart component? Go back to the component and right click on the smart feature folder. Select edit in defining assembly. This creates a temporary assembly. Don't edit the original setup assembly. Make any changes to the parts and click edit definition if you want to change the properties of the smart component. Hopefully this showed you how smart components and features can be useful and time saving. As I mentioned, they do require some setup, but I feel like the rewards far outweigh the initial work. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Keep an eye out on the Hawkridge Systems YouTube channel for more videos like this, and thanks for watching. Thank you.